and gentlemen, as we proceed to give you what you need, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Cody, and today we are here for another sneaker unboxing video. Today we are unboxing the Air Jordan 4 in the fire red colorway. For the first time since its initial release in 1989, the Jordan 4 Fire Red returns in its original form. This includes the original packaging and of course the classic Nike Air logo on the heel. It's crazy how one little detail can really make such a huge difference, but for me, and I'm sure for many of you, as well as the sneaker community at large, the Nike Air logo on the heel really is the cherry on top for a lot of Jordan retros. I was able to get my hands on these on the sneakers app when they released on November 28th. There was also a shock drop a few weeks prior to the official release date that I actually missed out on, but I do believe this was a more general release and stock numbers for these shoes were pretty high. So hopefully if you wanted these, you were able to get your hands on these as well. Now last year, of course, we had the release of the bread Jordan 4, which I also got my hands on at the time. For me personally, I think the bread and the fire red are the two best colorways of the Jordan 4. You also have the white cements, which is also a great colorway, but I would have to put those in the number three spot as far as best Jordan 4s go. The fact that we were able to get back-to-back -back OG colorways of the Jordan 4, which I consider one of the best Jordan models, it just feels special. The bread in 2019 and the fire red in 2020. So without further ado, let's look at the finer details of the shoe in question. There are four colors that make up the fire red fours. The majority of the upper is made up of this white leather. I would say the quality isn't terrible. It's nothing to write home about. Um, you can definitely tell that they mass produce these. For this one in particular, I don't know if it'll show up on the camera. It might show up on the B-roll. It looks like somebody either tried them on or it's just a little divot in the leather. I don't mind it too terribly much. I mean, I'm gonna wear them anyway. There's also white on the rubber netted underlays on both sides of the shoe and on the base of the tongue. And speaking of the tongue, that is also white along with the flat laces, the upside down Air Jordan logo on the back of the tongue, and also the section of the midsole that houses the visible portion of the air unit. And finally, the intersections of the outsole are both white as well. The next color we see is of course the namesake of the shoe, the fire red. This color is around the inner sock liner and on the back of the tongue, on the Jordan Flight Jumpman logo on the front of the tongue. Of course, the iconic Nike Air logo on the heel the four lace hole tabs and the front half of the midsole wrapping around the toe and bleeding down to the outsole where you see the last bit of fire red on the Nike logo near the heel. Black is present underneath the rubber netting on the sides and on the pieces holding the top lace hole tabs on the side. I'm really not sure what to call these things. Um, or what the official names of this piece is. So if you know that detail, let me know in the comment section. There's also black surrounding the heel panel and coming up with the pull tab. And finally on the upper portion of the midsole and wrapping around the back of the shoe. Now the last color is actually gray, which is only present on the bottom of the shoe, but it does peek out from under the toe and under the heel. Honestly, these shoes are just classic. For them to be retroing true to the original 1989 pair, now after all that time, really is a cool thing. I don't think we should gloss over that fact or downplay that these are pretty much the closest thing people 
people have gotten to the original Fire Red 4s. With all that being said, I'm very glad I got my pair. My favorite sneakers are definitely the ones with a rich history and a deep significance behind them. Let me know what you think of these in the comment section below. Were you able to get yourself a pair? Did you hit on the shock drop a few weeks ago or did you pick them up on the official release day? Let me know all of this and more and don't forget to follow me on social media for content updates about the channel and future videos and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those said videos. So with that I'd like to thank you for coming out to this one and hope to see you for the next one.